rice for breakfast, you know. Go your pasture already. You can't eat rice for breakfast. For a year. For a year. I'll have a mala for breakfast. I don't like have rice at any time of the day. Unless maybe I'm on a date and I just have to I can, I can get like this. But when I do decide to eat rice, I can eat rice for one whole week. I don't mix it with any other thing. He writes morning after the night, morning after the night. For so one straight week. That's when I've decided. Yeah, it's this week, me and me. Huh? No. Very soon. I don't really use nothing. Yeah, man! Yeah, please. I love you with me, but I decided to stop it. Wait, this is how Mommy J doesn't trust me. I gave her water, she didn't touch it. If it's higher, the cup will be empty. <laughs> so I was thinking before this was going to be to be put it in inside this house. If I know it, I'll start doing it. Wake up again. <laughs> Father, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> 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 you don't have neck at the back of your head. There's no neck. What do you mean? You lack a neck at the back of your body. What do you mean? This is not neck. That's, 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 ah, that's, 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 that
That lizard, eh? Perseverance should be his middle name. Since yesterday, our guy has been fighting for freedom. Eh, now, Shabby, you are Spartacus. Everyone should write what they need, yo. Go and remove it now. Shabby, you have uh, this thing. Go and remove it. No. Everybody should write. Kumi. Kumi. So okay. Everybody should write what they need. And we are giving them this thing. Say should, everybody should write what they need. Okay. That one that is inside there is that no lizard. Need. Normal lizard would have died since. That is why I'm not even going anywhere near yeah, you. Things that you need, write them. I have a feeling, even on the day of the final, that, that, that lizard will be there chilling. Say, hey, Una Papa. You know another reason why I'm scared to remove this lizard? I'm afraid that lizard. I don't see that close like Especially when you smell it. Ray. Para pao, para da, para da. Father, Lord, it. Take it, me it, not it, before it, I time it. Amen. Just it's not in. Touch me now. Man, cold is in the world. Chill out here. Drop of water. Is your mother? I 
can freeze it. But feeling small. <coughs> when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them on. I'm on your side when times get rough. La 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 la. Who put that there? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Who's older, the two of you? How many years? Nine. Nine years. <clears throat> you understand what the Academy rules state, right? No name calling, no dissing, nothing, yes? What are the remaining two? They like food so much they can't be here. Who is captain? Yes, You're captain. How old are you? I'm 18, sir. 18. What number does your t-shirt say? 11. What number does his say? 7. If you add them together, it becomes what? 7. 18. You don't know the difference. You don't know how to add 11 and 7. If you add them together, you are as old as his t-shirt. Well, you can stand up to him because of what? Because they put you all together because it's a competition. Yes? You think you have mouth. As playful as he is, you think you have mouth. His first poo is way older than you. His seven year poo is even older than you. You open your mouth and you run down your, el your own elder brother. If he was your elder brother, you will probably be breathing somewhere else, probably under an oxygen mask. Is that how you disrespect where you come from? No, sir. I'm not sure because parents don't raise incorrigible children like you. Yes, I understand that you took it too far. Yes? And as your first duty as captain, you will never attend my class this week. So you need to pack your stuff and you need to go. Sir, Say that again. We? Who is we? Both of you. Would you like to join him? I think you should. If your conscience pricks you, I think you should. Would you like to? No, sir. You can't. Then stay put. I believe you all have your songs. Yes? Yes, sir. Ada, what do you have? I'm going down by Rolls Royce. And? And? I don't know the name of the other artist. Just in case you're all completely confused, let's run that together again. Ada has I'm Going Down by Rolls Royce. A wonderful classic. By the way, it's classic weekend. 
international and African. It basically means that you're digging right back into the war chest of evergreen songs. Ada has I'm Going Down by Rolls Royce. And you have Salateme by Cardinal Rex Lawson. It's a high life tune that dates right back into the 60s, came right into the 70s. That was what kept our parents going when there was an on pass. Then it has Rock Me Tonight by Freddie Jackson. Freddie Jackson. Freddie Jackson. And of course, you have Wankere Sinombawa by the one and only Fatai Rolling Dollar. <clears throat> Two different genres. It means you go international and you come right back home. Jeff has Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing. And of course, he has Mike Oakery's Life Go Better For You. He gets to speak a bit of vernacular in that. Let's just see how he's going to pull that off. Pearl, you have Minnie Ripperton's Loving You. You think you got a voice? Let's find out exactly how you can use it. You've heard that very high-pitched song. Ira, can you tell the difference between what you sang last weekend and what Pearl is going to be singing? You think yours is difficult? Ask her. Ask Whistle Pitch. If she doesn't get there, she has not made any impact. And you have I'd Rather Go Blind by Etta James. It's a song that requires a lot of interpretation. I hope you all know that. All your songs require interpretation. You need to be enmeshed in the characters. And you've got Fuji Garbage by Ainde Barista. You will speak Yoruba this weekend. Anderson, you've got Bridge Over Troubled Waters by Simon Garfunkel. And of course, you've got Sugar Cane Baby by Harry Moscow. Kumi, you've got Betty Midler's Win Beneath My Wings. It is in your range. All we just need to see is characterization. And you've got a song, Bribibi by Amake Dede. It's from your home country. You should be glad. You're competing against these titans. I don't see why you can't remain a titan that you are. You were scared when you came in. You cannot be scared of these weasels anymore. You are in their league. It is time for you to go beyond their league. Let's make this absolutely clear. There is no fighting in the academy. There are no exchange of words in the academy. We're absolutely clear who says what and what kind of language you use. Your parents didn't bring you up like this. You just pick up all this unfortunate language because you are very inadequate. I did. Hallelujah, Chimle. When you use that for people who are not as fortunate as you, then it makes you completely inadequate and completely useless. Because I don't see the reason why a rat and a dinosaur should be having this kind of problems. You know, in fact, this is the original Timon and Pumba. For what? No, for what? They say silence is golden. I guess the reason why your mom mature is because you kept quiet. Even though I'm sure you started the problem, it got to that point you couldn't handle it. If it was you of yesteryears, what would you have done? You would have ripped him apart, wouldn't you? You don't even mind the expulsion. So explain to me why I should accept that kind of person here. I thought we had dealt with all that language issues. And where were you all when all these things were happening? Yes, where were you? We were trying to settle the fight, but it was out of our 
hands. You were trying to settle the fight. Where were you? I was in the bedroom, but I thought it was going to just die down. So in the bedroom? Yeah, my, in our room, boys' room. But later I came downstairs. So if it was raining punches, you already found solace on to, your own bed? You no, know, when it was getting to a climax, I came down to, to like put, put them apart. But I thought it was going to just like usual, everybody was going to keep quiet. So why did you tell me it was that easy? What were you doing? You were in his arms? No. I went to look for help. Help? Yeah, from a chaperone. You, chaperone, yes. help. Hmm. And you? We were both trying to settle. Who is we? Ireland. And you were taking sides with him, yes? No, I was just in the middle. What exactly were you doing? I was having my bath, so. What if this man had ripped him apart? I ran to call the manager. Before they came, what if he had ripped them apart? So we couldn't settle them. Why not? It was Aren't you mothers of the future? You can't settle them. Really? It was very... Men are not raised to hate women. If you stand in front of him, he can't do anything to you. It's a conscious thing, we know. Four of you will barricade them. They won't do anything. You tell them to shush it. But you obviously don't get it. If it is to find fight for change by Keke Napep, you will hold conductor, spell, you hold the entire traffic air, the grid, you hold it down. Wouldn't you? You are in a, com you're a comfortable place. You can't even hold down two people. Does he look like he's going to hit anyone? No. Does he? No. He can only talk. But his subconscious is telling him, if I hit him, I'm going to be, I'm going to be expelled, and it's going to be all over space. But he thought his mouth was sharper. Abby? So he didn't go to school. He did. These are the kind of people that when you put them in front of the television, you put PG-10. You make them watch cartoons. No. Barney. He comes, he wants to show what? Rambo, Robocop, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Shame on all of you. Because of you, because of your inability to handle this situation, he is not going to be in class. Never. So it's all on all of you. Sorry, sorry, sir. Who? Jen. He is sorry. Yeah. For what? Sorry for what? Answer. Sorry for what? You're interrupting my class. What do you want? Why didn't you do that before you got here? Go, go, go!
Why did you sound like somebody who just got bitten by a mosquito? What is that? It has to be emphatic. What are you doing? Sit down. It's more than just a dream come true. And everything that I do is out of loving you. La 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 start again this week with this little problem where people do not remember melodies yes we have started again have we I can't hear you I just heard it for the first time this morning I'm just hearing it for the first time yes sir I think you should take a walk again Go join your man. Kumi! I've got it 
you to know I know the truth Of course I know it I will be nothing without you Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I wish I could be I can fly higher than an eagle Cause you are the wind beneath my You just sang like somebody who has cardiac arrest. Zzz, nothing. Okay. All right, well, let's go. All right, well, let's go. I know it was bad, so he just brought it for me. This Out. Anda, let's go. You don't know it. I've never heard this song. Get out. Tendi, let's go. Sir, you're going to send me out. I don't know this song. There's no point. You're going to send me out. Just walk. Disgraceful. Anderson, let's go. Sending us everybody that doesn't know their songs yet. I don't even know what happened my lyrics. Sit down, way. And tears are in your eyes. I will dry them all. I'm on your side. Oh, in time. And friends just can be found like a bridge over troubled waters. I will lay me down like a bridge over troubled water. I will.
and silver girl Sail on by Your time has come To shine All your dreams are on their way See how they shine mm, How they shine Oh and if you love an in a bread like a bridge of a troubled water, I'll be lay me down a bridge of a troubled water. I Let's do a little bit of interpretation on top. Oh, I need another program. I'm having a problem because the impression I have here is Aretha Franklin, so the lyrics are kind of confusing. Um, the lyrics are what? Are confusing. So I'm writing them out again from what I'm hearing in the. Well. Vote for your favorite Project Fame contestant from anywhere in the world. Just log into www.projectfamewestafrica.com and click on the Overseas Voting menu option. Pay with your MasterCard, PayPal, or Visa card, and many others. Then select your favorite contestant. It's as simple as that. So start voting now. What a feeling! Now you can vote for your. I'm on your side Oh, in time get right And friends just can be found Like a bridge of a troubled water I will lay me
So it goes from F to F sharp. And back to you, Kumi. Interpretation. Let's go. Power, 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 right? Yes. Where is the power? Read the first line, first set of words. Read it. It must have been cold there in my shadow. Uh huh. To never have sunlight on your face. Mm -hmm. You were content to let me shine. Mm -hmm. That's your way. Mm -hmm. You always walked a step behind. Mm -hmm. So I was the one with all the glory, mm -hmm. while you were the one with all the strength. Do you understand what the words are saying? Yes. You're a pushover, all of a sudden somebody's putting you in the spotlight. Okay, why don't you show me power now? Is that possible? I'm afraid of it. You're afraid of power? Yes. Because you can't control it. Yes? Yes, sir. You don't know how to interpret power? No. You don't know how to use the power that you got? So you don't deserve to have a voice, yes? No. So what are you saying? What are you saying? You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. This is the last time. The very last time.
without a name for so long A beautiful smile to hide the pain Did you ever know that you're my hero? And everything I would like to be But I've got it all here in my heart I want you to know I know the truth Of course I know it I will be nothing without you Did you ever know that you're my hero? Contestant from anywhere in the world. Just log into www.projectframewestafrica.com and click on the overseas voting menu option. Pay with your MasterCard, PayPal, or Visa card, and many others. Then select your favorite contestant. It's as simple as that. So start voting now. What a feeling! Now you can. Have you? First chorus. Second chorus! What? I want to go and listen to it. You want to go? And listen to it. Get out. Thank you, sir. You seem to be the only one. Why don't you two get out? Get me Jeff. And those other illiterates who have not done their own. I didn't ask you to come back. Get out! What is your excuse? What is your excuse? Because when you're about to graduate, that is when returns begin to diminish. Every time. You never, ever finish. There's one excuse or the other. What am I supposed to do with you? You need to explain it to me because he was saying to me that you had sorted it out. And I asked him a simple question. Would you like to join in outside? He said, no. What am I supposed to do about you? Punish myself. I should do what? Punish me. I should punish you. So you want to go again? No, punish you how? How? One song every performance night. One. And you can't even figure it out. 
too much fringe on your head, too much mohawk on yours, your scarf tied too tight. He looks like a leprechaun, too much beard. But what is it about you? Too much three? Are you telling me that everybody's brain is woven to what they carry? So what is the problem? You haven't learned your song. You don't know your song. You don't even know your song. You don't even know anything. Nothing. You're smiling. What do you know? Oh, maybe you know your song. But you know what? You just have a basket load of insults in your head. So that probably cripples your intelligence. Nothing else is in there. What am I supposed to do? Out of seven, five are completely incompetent. What am I supposed to do with that? How do you process that? Total failure. How? The board of directors of the faculty, of the academy, say, oh, there's too much workload. Let's ease on a bit on them and let's give them songs that they can remember quickly. I said no. They said no. They're approaching the end. Take it easy with them. Here we are. All of a sudden, everybody's battery has been turned out. Completely. What am I supposed to do with that? Why don't we double the workload? Maybe I should take that to them, they will understand. That way, when you have four or five songs to perform, you will wake up, have the sleepless nights I've been complaining about. But right now, everybody is relaxed. You're all cozy. Because you know you're not going home. That is the problem. Because you know you will not be evicted. Well, news flash. It is best that you go home now and deal with the failures. Because you know what? On the finale, before you even start, seven of you will be lined up and one person will leave the stage at the finale, on that stage, facing everybody. How is that for total failure in the eyes of the world? Then you proceed midway. A few of you will be told to go. No, 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 let's make it better. Then they begin to call the prizes. And for the first prize, three people will be left on stage. And only one person will be called. Now picture this, three. Number three, number seven, and number 11. And the winner is number seven. How do you both walk off stage? Or number one, number 11, and number 16. And the winner is number 11. How do you both walk off stage? Why didn't you just tell them, ground, open, let me enter now? You are doing younger. You have no idea. Headache, fever, aches. Warm expeller, you will need everything to get you off that stage. Because if you're not strong, you just go and you're down on the ground. We'll pick you, there's an ambulance waiting. We'll give you drip. We'll give you juice. We'll give you egg. We'll give you milk. And we'll give you all the rest of the things that you need. Then we'll take you home. Did you hear also, when the presenters were saying, cumulative votes, did you hear that part? Do you know what that means? It means henceforth, all your votes just begin to add up. You think they will love you from now till the end? There are those who are faithful to you. There are those, like I said, who will switch. Have you thought about that? What if I was the one leading? And I'm so proud I'm leading. All of a sudden, the voting public sees my pride. You know what they will do? They will take away the votes 
and give it to somebody else. You know what? I want the remaining two to hear this. Get them. It is best when you were not even recognized, when you were not known by name or numbers. Now they know your name, they know your faces, and they know your numbers. Number one, number 11, number 14, number 16, seven, three, and two. I was saying to them, number two and number 14, before you walked in, they announced the presenters are going to go, well, good evening, welcome to the finale of MTM Prairie Film West Africa season eight, the next. Blah, 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 we're going to go, blah, 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 blah. But before we continue, one person has to leave the academy. You don't even get to sing a last song. You leave and you sit with the rest of you who started the season. They will be there. All your friends, you will be united, reunited. Tejiri, Joy, Chike, Jennifer, Biko, it doesn't even matter whether they don't have names. They'll be sitting there. Leaving the stage, blah, 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 is number question mark. And you walk off stage and you join the rest of the people who get to watch the rest of the champions. It doesn't end there. Then, we have the third runner-up, then the second runner-up, then the first runner-up. Those ones should be glad. They worked hard. They already have prizes. Now, we have number two, number three, and number seven on stage. And they only need a champion. Is it not best that you're removed earlier than that? Is it not best? That is when you will look for the gents or the ladies and you will not see it. That is when you will wish there was a wall behind you you can sit on and relax. It won't be there. The only thing that will carry you are your legs and your fantastic dress. And they will remember you by what you've done in the past. Because one person is about to move on into the future with the rest of the gang. <laughs> Process that in your head. Then you will come and explain to me why 24 hours is not enough to learn your song. 24 hours is enough to get your lyrics. The next 24 is to interpret everything you have. The next 24 is for you to get on stage. The next 24 is definitely for sleepless nights because they get you ready. The next 24 is for you to show the world what you have learned in the first 24. Instead, you wait for the next 96 to figure it out. You wait for the next 96 hours to figure it out, really. How? Have you thought about it? Have you? Have you thought about the fact that sometimes you wake up in the morning of your performance day, you're tired? Because you left all the work till then.